Here to acknowledge tonight's recipients, it is my great pleasure to introduce you to the Prime Minister of Australia, the Honourable Anthony Hopkins. Uh, that was respectful. 
uh, in a way that, that lifted up, I think, uh, the nation. Diesel and dust came just after the uh, Mudujulu people were handed back Uluru. And the dead heart is about Uluru, and we heard it here uh, tonight, a fantastic version. Uh, setting a new agenda, something a bit different, the idea of, I know, we'll go on a black fella, white fella tour with the Warumpi band, uh, was not something that was probably commercially uh, driven, I suspect, uh, but something that once again uh, was uplifting for the nation and a really um, tangible, uh, concrete, person-to-person -person, uh, connection between black and white Australians uh, was what it was about. The Earls were always a band who turned up the volume and the music as well as the message to Eleven. Uh, they sang in protest outside Exxon in uh, New York City, a, a, an amazing film clip uh, still. Uh, they boycotted, of course, quite rightly, South Africa under the apartheid regime, but went and uh, sang at one of the first multiracial uh, concerts uh, in Joburg after uh, the fall of the regime and the, the rise of Nelson Mandela. Really important. The sorry suits at the uh, 2000 closing ceremony of the Olympics, uh, something that helped raise consciousness about that issue, not just here in Australia, of course, but around the world. Midnight Oil are a big part of our national soundtrack. All of those issues, uh, nuclear disarmament, uh, indigenous rights, the environment, uh, industrial relations, our relationship with the world, uh, they are very much a part of our national soundtrack. And they have, uh, rightly at time, uh, provoked anger and protest, uh, quite consciously to do that, but they've also provoked love and love between people. And it's not in terms of uh, its music, whilst it can be fierce and confronting at times in terms of its musical style, uh, the message was always not that. The message was about bringing people together, whether they be Australians or Australians with the world as well. They're a reminder that music enriches us, that it sustains our soul, it tells us stories, it broadens our horizons, it enables us to engage with each other. Even tonight, um, you know, just walking through the crowd there, you know, you get stopped and people talk, uh, the uh, Trish, the uh, one of uh, the clouds, I uh, just met the former uh, manager, she works in my electorate office. You know, we connect through uh, music through song and through stories. It can unite us as well as the Makarata project uh, has indeed. And something that I will uh, take the opportunity of, uh, of having an ask for you tonight, uh, not for your vote for any particular party, but what I will ask you for is for your campaign for a yes vote when we have the referendum. Uh, because this will be an opportunity uh, to really uplift the whole nation and bring it together. And I think that uh, we have that opportunity to accept the, the gracious offer which uh, Indigenous Australians have given uh, those of us who are either migrants or descendants of migrants, and that's everyone except for First Nations people in this country. It is a very generous offer to hand out and just asking us to join with them. And uh, music can have, uh, and so for the managers, the musos out there, you can, you can make a difference. And uh, Midnight Oil have made an enormous difference. And so I think that um, the, in uh, their, their, I'm sure it won't be there, Final thing. John, John's pretty keen on the uh, reunion tour already. <laughs> <laughs> we reckon it'll go okay. <laughs> I, I do 
do recall Peter Garrett going through a period where he wasn't performing on stage, but, uh, performing on uh, the, the stage that I perform on from time to time. Uh, but it is, uh, I think it's a, it is, I do want to take the opportunity uh, to, uh, to ask. Uh, this is a whole of society thing that, that we can achieve together. And Midnight Oil have done, I think, uh, an, an enormous, uh, an enormous job uh, in raising consciousness about these issues over such a long period of time. And uh, there's lots of, frankly, if their message was crap, I wouldn't care because the music's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> it's a bonus that the message is pretty good too. <laughs> great honour for me to present Midnight Oil with the Support Act Excellence in the Community Award for 2022.